Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of August 23rd, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week. Now, as we move further into the week, we've got this beautiful energy, thanks to Mercury, setting up an extended grand trine, an earth grand trine at that, first with Uranus and then with Jupiter. These are supremely harmonious and very fortunate energies that are gonna be playing out for us. However, as we begin the week, it may not feel like there is energy that is so fortunate, and that is because we have some pretty intense energies, at least to start off the week. Right around Monday is when a connection between Mars and Saturn will perfect. Now, these two planets speaking in this way in a conversation of tension that astrologers call a square uh, can be just downright tiring, I'll tell you. It is the squares to Saturn that say that sometimes, as much as we may try, as much energy as we may put in a particular direction, we may not be able to get exactly what it is we want. But this is also a turning point moment, asking us if whatever it is that we're fighting for, whatever it is that we're working towards, is it worth the sacrifice? And if it isn't, then this is going to be a stark moment of honesty. Now, for some, this energy can feel frustrating. It can feel limiting. It can feel restrictive. It can feel as if we are fighting and wanting, and yet our external circumstances, the reality of our situation, isn't necessarily aligning up the way that we would want or the way that we would hope. And I know that this is pretty intense, but let me say, navigate this time it is a moment but it's also a bit of a foreshadowing i look at how these two planets are going to be speaking in a much more powerful way once we get to the end of september and into the first days of october that is going to be this alignment and so much more and that really is because at that time once we get to the end of september not only are we going to have Mars retrograde by that point, but also we are going to have Saturn stationary. So this is where the energies become that much more pronounced, that much more intense. And we are also going to have a full moon in the same sign that Mars is in, conjunct Chiron. So I did speak all about that in the Mars retrograde special horoscope, and I will link to it in the description below. But I do feel like this is going to be uh, kind of an awakening, an awareness, an insight, a sense of what is to be, what is to come. It is going to be a month from now that circumstances are going to feel much more emotional, much more vulnerable. And how that unfolds depends in large part how we navigate this time right now. It is going to be this square of Mars and Saturn that is going to encourage us to understand ourselves more deeply and to ask ourselves those important questions. Am I fighting for something that really matters? Am I pouring my energy in a direction that is going to manifest something that actually matters to me, that is meant to be? And so for some, this moment may come with some sadness as you realize what isn't working and what may not ever work. For some of us, this might be a turning point moment where we realize what it is that we have to let go of. And yet it is just as we allow ourselves to find acceptance that tremendous possibilities start to open up for us. So let's talk about the possibilities. Well, it is the earth signs that are lit up now and actually are going to be lit up in the weeks ahead, right to the middle of next month when we are going to have a new moon, a very fortunate new moon at that. And I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but I want to focus on what is happening this week. It will be right around Tuesday that Mercury will align in supreme harmony with Uranus and towards the end of the week, align in supreme harmony with Jupiter. Now, this is extremely fortunate as all the Earth signs are lit up in this larger configuration. Even though the Grand Trine itself doesn't 
reach perfection exactly because of how quickly Mercury moves and how it is that Mercury is lighting up and part of lighting up all these Earth signs. Well, it does suggest we will be feeling the benefits of a grand trine at this time. And so that connection with Uranus, well, that is all about surprise and delight. And I just see this as good news all around as to what could be, how our lives could change for the better, what it is that we can do right now and what maybe we didn't even realize but could make all the difference. What can help us to feel better right now? There is lightness and freedom and excitement. And then with Jupiter kicking in, there are big blessings. There's hope, there's possibility. Now, as I said, this is just the beginning. As we navigate into next week, that is when Mercury is going to begin to align with Pluto and with Saturn. So there's lots of good vibes coming up here. The sun is gonna trace these steps as well. So there's, again, lots of good energy here. Lots of energy of surprise and possibility. But right now, it is about the connections, the surprise connections, the communications, the conversations, the information that we're getting that truly can have us understanding what is worth manifesting differently. It is one thing to be an adrenaline junkie. That's only going to get you so far. And I think that's part of what this Mars retrograde season is inviting us to consider each of us in our own individual journeys. But it is ultimately all this earth energy that is saying, what are you actually producing? Do you like what has actually manifested in your life? And where it is you don't, you can change it. And where it is that you want things to be better, they can be. And where it is that you want your life and your lived experience and this incarnation to be one that is more joyous in real ways, well, that pathway starts to reveal itself to us now as well. The other big news this week has to do with Venus. On Tuesday, standing across the sky from Jupiter and right around Thursday, speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. Now, don't let all the hope and the good vibes right about now fool you because it is gonna be next week that things get much more stark. They get much more real. And to give you a little bit of a heads up, next week Venus will stand across the sky from Pluto and Saturn. And what that says is, as much as this week is all about the dream and the fantasy and the beauty and the excitement and the hope, as much as it is that we are so very wanting to see things with rose-colored glasses and be swept up in a moment, be swept away by all matters of love and pleasure and joy, which can be a beautiful thing. It is going to be next week that a more honest and in some cases, a level of honesty that might even be difficult for some of us is going to start to set in. There is a saying uh, one of my spiritual mentors taught me, as high as you go is as low as you go especially when it is that you are willing to feel things fully and experience life fully. And what that means is whether or not you partake in substances, it doesn't even matter. As much as it is that you are willing to live in spaces that feel especially high, well, you're going to experience the opposite of that as well. And so it's a good idea before we really allow ourselves to get carried away to consider if the low is worth the high that we want to engage in. I had this moment, this realization many years ago, actually, and I remember uh, being at a gathering with many people and they were all drinking and I was not. And I remember the next day waking up and feeling hungover and I couldn't understand why. And I realized that while I was in that space, I allowed myself to be in a particular energy, like tuning into a radio station and allowing myself to be in that energy itself led to the consequence of the low, led to the consequence of feeling hungover, which was the low. And that was so insightful to me because it meant that we don't need substances. If you partake, good for you, awesome. Uh, absolutely no judgment in that regard but 
I realized you don't really need the substance. It really is about tuning into a radio station, deciding which one you want to tune into, accessing a frequency, but knowing that for every high there is a low. And understanding whether or not, not just tuning into a radio frequency, but then just staying there if it is worth the cost or not. And in that way, approaching my life more consciously, that became a practice to be willing to ask myself if this is worth the consequence or not. And so it is going to be this week that may very well present a high to us in one manner or another, one kind or another. It is a week of a lot of fantasy and some of that may play out in the context of love. Some of that, as I said, may play out in terms of how much we're willing to enjoy ourselves, how much uh, we're willing to overindulge because that's very possible with a sky like this. And that can be overindulges not only in terms of substances or externals, but I'm thinking also with things like money and spending, very much a Venusian subject. Well, it is going to be next week that that honest evaluation is going to kick in and we're going to have to look at things in a way that takes into account some of our own more complicated feelings. So I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but I wanted to mention it now because each of us in our own way is going to be invited to go on that roller coaster and it's up to us to decide now if it's worth taking that ride. What I love about this week for us, well, look, I know that the energies in the early part of the week can feel intense. If you are someone who is sensitive to energies, you will feel it that much more. But what I can also say is that there is a lot that is good this week as well. And what's good is real. It is practical. It is rooted in what actually is instead of what you hope for, what you're wanting for. It is about what your life is showing you. And from there can come genuine empowerment with an eye to live in a way that cultivates not only practical self-respect, but also real results. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and thumbs up. It does help the channel so very much. Obviously, I'm not home. <laughs> I'm in Mexico City. I had to do a very quick trip here, heading back uh, to Cancun. And I just wanted to show you the view right about now. And I wanted to catch the light before the sun goes down uh, to make this video. But I love the mountains uh, here, the view of the mountains here from and in Mexico City. And Mexico City really is one of my very favorite places. I know people have been really grateful to uh, experience a tourist with the little interactions I've had with others. And so uh, I'm really grateful to be here as well. And it is just such a special place, such a magical place, such a powerful place. I am looking forward to the day when the world opens again, which it will in its own time. Uh, and when that happens, uh, to see life uh, more fully engaged will be truly incredible. And I don't think we're going to have to wait that long, actually. Um, I'm thinking about Jupiter moving into Aquarius in December. I think that is going to encourage us to get together and some really good scientific news late in the year in December as well with the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. I have classes with Synchronicity University. The speaker series is on. It is happening very soon. Now, this is the last full week to choose your own tuition rate as low as $5 a class. Can you believe it? just $5 a class to hear world-class speakers. We have incredible speakers joining us. And this is my first ever speaker series. I really wanted to share some incredible astrological minds with you, including uh, Colin Bedell and Mecca Woods. Now, both of these big dogs in astrology today, Colin Bedell with Queer Cosmos, and it is Mecca Woods who has an incredible resume uh, and she's just such a presence in astrology. Brilliant astrologers like my friend 
Michael Barwick. He is my personal astrologer, I'll tell you. And he's teaching on fixed stars as well. And that is something that a lot of students have been asking me and I knew he was the one to teach it. Uh, we have April from Cosmic Homegirl. You guys have seen her on my channel before. She's a brilliant astrologer. And Quan Tracy Cherry, who I absolutely uh, really love as an astrologer. I've just started getting to know him uh, thanks to interviewing him recently on my channel as well. And so all of these astrologers are going to be teaching with the exception of Michael Barwick and even Colin Bedell. Colin's going to be teaching more about relational astrology, but uh, it is Mecca Woods is going to be teaching about Jupiter in Pisces in 2021 and 2022 and what that's going to mean for us. Um, April is going to be teaching on uh, Saturn in Aquarius 2020 to 2023 and what that'll mean for us. And it is Quan who's going to be teaching on the rest of Uranus and Taurus right to the middle of the decade. So all of these very timely and information and inspiration that you can use right away. And so you can check out and learn more about the speaker series of Synchronicity University. Links are in the description below. And of course, my own classes with Synchronicity University are starting uh, in September as well, very, very soon. And until the end of the month, this is the last full week, you'll be able to choose your own tuition rate on that as well. My very popular, lots of people are very excited about my classes, uh, upcoming classes on Tarot for Astrologers. Fully four classes as part of the autumn session, part one and two are going to have Tarot for Astrologers. I think that's gonna be very rewarding. And we're gonna have two classes on Lilith in the astrology chart, two classes on the moon, two classes on uh, Mercury in the astrology chart as well. So it does look like the autumn session is going to be a whole lot of fun and insightful. I'll be teaching about tarot for the very first time, and I'm really looking forward to that as well. As always, links are in the description below. Thank you so much for making The Universe is Wise and Loving a number one new release in its category on Amazon. I'm so very grateful for that. My third number one new release. It's very, very exciting. Uh, actually, the book reached number one as a new release early this past week. And so even before it was launched and today was the publication date and uh, it's available as an ebook, it's available as a paperback wherever books are sold. And I'm just so grateful for your love, for your trust, uh, for uh, being engaged in and liking and embracing this book as you have. Thank you with all my heart. Um, every book that I write, it is uh, a little piece of me <laughs> on paper. And it is uh, something that I, I just feel so moved to be able to do. And I just feel like right about now, there are no words, which is funny for a writer to say that there really are no words to express how grateful I am, how much it means to me uh, that because of you, because of your trust, because of your love, um, because of your trust in my interpretation of the sky, I have been so, so very blessed and blessed with this number one new release, which is really so exciting to me. So just thank you with all my heart. Thank you. And you can get the book now as well as my other books. Uh, which include the body and the cosmos, it includes prayers to the sky, it includes astrology realized, all of that, uh, all of those books are available wherever books are sold, and of course on Amazon as well, links in the description below. And finally, you can get my interpretation of your unique birth chart by logging on to the link in the description below. My wonderful partnership with Cosmogram makes it possible. Uh, I actually uh, have partnered with Cosmogram to create these custom natal chart reports. You will hear my voice as you read this computer generated printout of your unique birth chart and the interpretations of the planetary placements at the time of your birth. It's very straightforward. You go, you click the link in the description below, you go onto the Cosmogram website, you enter your birth data. Within hours, you will be sent a complete PDF 
uh, copy that you can print or that you can read online that you can cherish forever that lets you know how I would interpret all the different placements in your birth chart uh, this birth chart has gotten such incredible feedback and that just means so very much to me and it was such a labor of love 780 different possible combinations and you will hear me in each one, depending on how many combinations you happen to have in your chart. None of us have the full 780, but whatever planetary connections are there, your planetary uh, houses, your planetary signs, all of that I go through in detail. And you can also see the um, sample report that is available on the Cosmogram website so you know exactly what it is you're gonna get. And I hope that you love it as so many people have. And so link is in the description below. And thank you. I do wanna let you know next week, next week is my once a year, 24 hour only, uh, big anniversary sale. I have had an anniversary sale every year that I have been a full-time astrologer. Uh, which is 14 years. Yep, September 1st will be 14 years as a full-time astrologer. And so it's very exciting to me uh, to be able to celebrate with you. And I only have two sales a year. So one is my anniversary sale. The other sale is the Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, weekend sale. But it is this sale that has the bigger discounts. Uh, and it is this sale that only happens once a year. I don't have discounts like this uh, at any other time. And it really is my way of saying thank you. Like just thank you for being uh, with me, for staying with me, for watching me, for your trust, for your love, all of it. And if you want to have uh, access to those big, big discounts that are gonna be taking place and surprise discounts as well, surprise products as well, uh, make sure you sign up to my newsletter and you can access my newsletter by going to the homepage at my website, nadiashaw.com, scrolling down to the bottom and signing up right there. And it is the email that is going to go out right at midnight EST at the very beginning of September 1st. That is going to feature all these very big discounts. Now, if you are a superstar, make sure you are following the links in the superstar newsletter because superstars will have their own discounts, even bigger discounts uh, than the ones that are going to be available to everybody else. So please, if you are a superstar, make sure you're following those links. Now, regardless, whether you're a superstar, whether you're a friend and fan, I appreciate each and every one of you here and I appreciate so much that you have been part of my journey in one way or another whether this is the first time that you are seeing me or whether you have been watching me uh, since I launched my channel 12 years ago or whether even before I launched my channel you were reading your horoscope on my website thank you to each and every one of you it is an exciting time my anniversary is right around the corner and I'm really excited to celebrate it with you with my huge anniversary sale. So remember, join the newsletter and I will party with you September 1st. And thank you. Thank you so much again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.